Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Sword of the Stars The Pit with me, Brainboy20. Where we last left off, we died horribly in one episode. Let's try not to do that this time. Once again on normal difficulty with the engineer. Let's go. Now immediately we have a rot pile with a not very good chance for using the foraging skill to actually acquire something valuable. That doesn't go there, but the pistol goes in the second range. And as usual, we're going to go melee only because I don't feel like wasting precious bullets when I'm probably not going to get any this time around. I got insanely lucky on the first run through, and then I threw it all away because I did not want to heal. Which just goes to show you, make sure you actually heal yourself when appropriate. Also, I have to say, that is a lot of bats. Like, I think we're doing a bat genocide right now. And thank goodness we're actually getting some foraging skill upgraded. And we are already getting our might increased. Now, as usual, it's just ciphering skill, which of course goes up by three. Mechanical, because it's almost always impossible to fix. And... Hmm. What's a... not lockpicking. Lockpicking's really easy to raise. <sighs> I think we're gonna go with biotech. Even though biotech is equally easy to raise. Sure, the game encourages you to go with what skills you're using and to use as many skills as possible in between leveling ups to get the bonuses so you can just spread out your skill points to an insane degree. But usually the things that are truly useful, such as deciphering, is really hard to find one skill check for that you can succeed unless you put points into it already, which is why I always bump up deciphering. Of course. That was a really quick upper floor, and we're getting incredibly unlucky with all these locate with all these searches. Ah. At least we didn't get poisoned. Not good. Even though I usually like dealing with floor traps immediately. The problem with the floor traps right now is that I'm probably... Not floor traps, door traps. The problem with having door traps this early and trying to determine what they do is that if I get blind, I'm going to lose a lot of health before I have the ability to survive it. Oh no you don't. I will take the free pistol rounds, and then I will start stabbing you. And of course I get myself infected with the disease. Well, I'll be healing soon enough. And the disease auto-cures, which is great. I didn't want to have to burn a med kit in order to make sure the disease would actually cure for me. What the heck? Digital Interpreter. Hang on. I'll level up in a second. I want to see something, though. A small expert system capable of analyzing alien script. It will add to your description skill and will eventually require recharging from a hub. Well. Let me actually do this efficiently, then. Mechanical. Pistol. Eh. Yep. Of course, first things first, might gets upgraded. I'm not gonna bother with biotech, right? Now we're probably not gonna get something that we can really use. And decipher would be nice to upgrade, but we have the digital interpreter, which means we're probably not going to have to care about those. Yeah, we'll just go with most efficient and then put two points into something. Um, traps? 
able to put traps. Sure, why not? Got him. This is blind. No, it's probably a recharge trap. And I don't have... Well, actually, I can just test that right now and use it. Okay, we have about six enemies left. Let's keep that number in mind. And it's a recharge trap. That is nice to know. I was right. That's an amazing thing to know. Now, don't you dare run away from me. Let's reload this thing before I forget. Lockpick set. I'd like to open up the secure crate. Thank you very much. The blue biomod. Digital assistant will be used. With the blue biomod, I'm probably going to wait until I can find a second one before using it. Just in case it ends up being really good for some reason. I'm currently enjoying some water right now, so that if you hear me gulping something occasionally, that's about it. I have to keep this voice oiled, you know. It needs to run smoothly, and that was a really dangerous thing I did, but I at least know a healing trap when I see one. Thank you, Pit, for giving me all these door traps immediately. So there's one, two, three, four. Um, increases speed by 200%. Alright, we know almost all the good ones. I think there's one that increases speed by 100%. And then there's... Not my best day. Are you serious? Okay, we're gonna go to another door first and get our lockpicking lock skill up by one. Before continuing... Good. I think that was the last one? That was five by my count. I probably missed one somewhere. Oh yeah, there's that entire room we didn't explore early on. Which contained absolutely nothing but something else to grind our line skill a little bit more little bit more. I don't know why my speech is suddenly just dying on me. As if my brain just collectively gave up on the English language, which, if you spend enough time on enough time online, that kind of makes sense. Anyway, let's continue. Now here's the floor where I died last time, and I walked right into that like a smart, smart man. Let's hope that doesn't keep happening. Take the mutation serum. Actually, there is something I can wait for. I can get the uh, one-time use deciphering device. I just need one cybernetic brain. Is it what? A cybernetic brain and what else? For the life of me, I do not recall. I'm so thankful that misses seem to give skill ups. Beforehand, they never seem to do that. That's right, boys. One at a time. Keep coming at me one at a time. It's not at all a good. It's not at all a bad decision on your part. I think I don't think the AI actually understands the decisions it makes early on. Who needs a marine? It does seem Sparks. to get smarter the lower you get in the pit. I suppose that's a good thing. Well, I can't really tell if it's that or if the AI simply gets stronger and stronger tools to use against me. Fortune skill upgraded. Give me some more pistol rounds. I'm going to lockpick set just to make sure I can get through this. And I got some med patches. Mm -hmm. 
level up once more. Might, and then I think we'll actually round off Finesse and bring it up to the next level. Of course, the Rush might immediately specifically so we can get the extra inventory slots, because I tend to have an oversized inventory by the end of this game. Anyway, uh, what, do I want to up what do I want to upgrade? Biotech. I don't know, I don't think 50 is the point where skill, where free skill-ups stop happening. I don't think it is. Traps... Computers, and... Mechanical. Unoptimized, the good play. Let it be known that I did not forget that there was a fourth one there. I just simply did not care. And a destroyed computer, which makes me feel really sad. Woohoo, I'm poisoned. Is my knife gonna just die on me in this fight? If I get two more knife damages, then maybe. Alright, let's fix this thing before before my knife decides to give out on me, because I kind of need that. Reorganize the inventory, and we'll continue hunting. Woohoo! Easy cooker. Is there anything I can make right now? I doubt it. We can just actually check and see if there's anything worth crafting. Nope. Not at all. Oh yes, I did actually figure out something. Pungent meat does in fact exist, and you can make it in this... in this version of the game. Oh, freeze not switch. Well, don't mind if... Don't mind if I do. Do not ever eat your ingredients. That is always a bad decision in this game. Eat completed recipes first, even if they suck. Alright, let's keep going. Hello, buddy. I don't mind getting free experience points from them just charging me. Uh, but I do mind you, so... This is good that we got that out of the way right now. Who needs a marine? As I always say, engineer, evidently you do. Although one of them, I was afraid that would have been a uh, adaptoid. That would have been terrifying. Uh, we will try and repair the repair hub. Task interrupted. Now you die for interrupting me. And of course, I get infected with the disease. You can't even tell when those guys are dying because of dripping, dripping blood everywhere. Are you finished? Is there going to be any more interruptions? Look, we managed to get this to work. Uh, overloads and shuts down. I'm fairly certain that was not at all due to the fact that I had nothing worth recharging. Oh yeah, I forgot all my stats take a half, like, half off minus. Deno! Well, something tells me I should upgrade my pistol. Or at least my pistol skills. And I would agree with the game's decision to upgrade those, because... Uh, if I miss that much trying to hit Azul Pup, I don't want to miss with the assault rifle. Alright, Rusty Locker, show me your secrets. 
Well, I got a sword. It's now as good time as any to work on a blade skill. And luck I can surgery. Alright. Surgery kit. We're gonna use it. We're gonna use it. So it's a relatively easy opponent, then I'm probably gonna end up using the sword on them. Okay, these are teleport traps. And as I thought, the teleport traps still seem broken. Again, how can I tell? What does the black one do? Decreases my speed by a half. use a sword, considering it's really inefficient, if I miss them five times in a row. And we'll attempt to fix the recharge hub for more electronic skill, which we don't get, which just signifies that that's something we should upgrade. To the bottom section we go. Yes, I'll take my free poison, thank you very much. Got him. It's not as if poison is one of the most annoying conditions in this game. And we got some shotgun shells. Now all we need are some casing fragments and I can get myself some grenades for later. And as you can still see, lockpicking is one of the easiest skills to level, which is why it's almost useless to put skill points in it. Always teleports you to the exact same place. This is why we have the pistol reloaded. It's also why I need pistol skill. Now. I don't care if it's inefficient. If we're starting to meet proteins, pistol skill is worth it. Uh, let's see here. What was it? Electronics couldn't be upgraded anymore. Mechanical probably won't be able to. Forging can still be upgraded. Biotech hasn't had a chance to be upgraded. Traps is hard to upgrade. I don't want to miss with my blade. And I guess we will. Medical and knife. I have no ammo anymore. This is about to suck really badly. Oh, never mind. We have... We have grenades. Worth it. I'm stunned. Let's... Okay, we'll keep bothering with the blade skill, even though we have like a 10% chance to hit. Because we can at least farm some experience off this guy with it. Can we get something worth cooking? No. We need a purifier for anything worthwhile. Of course it's empty. I 
always wonder, do skill checks work off of base That's percentage to hit? Or are they roll a die between 1 and 100, if you have above 100, you hit automatically? And that actually answered my question earlier. Do I still upgrade my foraging skill? Answer is yes. Alright, time to break open one of these bad boys and see what's behind them. So break it open. Break open the security room. I didn't reload my gun, did I? You're not the brightest decision. And of course you're going to sit right there and try to murder me. Well, uh, Tarkin Field Surgery. That is called Near-Death Experience, Part 2. Would I go back? Certainly. I saw an armor location in there. Come on out. Come on out. I'm always in the mood to murder pups. Good, you're still waiting there. Eat my bullets. That hurt. Jesus. Um, um, equip? No, no, first things first. Use. Then, yeah, equip the grenade. Throw. Thank you. You cannot believe how terrifying that is to me. We have almost all the pieces we need, though, to construct some high-end equipment, such as high-end equipment. Is that really high-end equipment, or are you just talking? I'm not gonna swear. You're just talking out of your butt. Yeah, you're just talking out of your butt. The high-end equipment there is the laser pistol, nothing else. Although the free ammunition's nice. And, uh, eat lead. Alright. Give me some armor, boy. Oh, come on. Did you just really give me a second jumpsuit? That just makes me so disappointed in you. Anyway, how's the food looking? Yeah, we could probably just chow down on Soul Force rations then. How much space do I have left? Is this 80? Yeah, we have more than enough space. We'll chow down and bring ourselves up to full. Ah. Uh, if only I'd come to this room under a different direction, I might not have wasted that many of those Tarkin Field Surgery kits. Or I would have died sooner if I had met all three at once. A marine. Yeah, we're not dealing with the mad doc. Please kill him. No laser, please. No bully. And our reconstructors, we can repair ourselves. Alright, where's Mr. Utuku? I see that bolo, but I'm gonna level up first. More points in finesse, please. I don't think I need melee. But I don't think I ever will. Forging is still upgrading. Let's buff all these skills. What else can we buff? Traps? Eh. We'll buff Decipher just in case the game was joshing us, and the deciphering mechanic that they gave us is actually complete and utter garbage. You've just taken four bullets and haven't even responded. I'm gonna chase you down with a sword just to execute you. Because you deserve nothing less, you bloody coward. Well... Oh, I should've opened this first just in case something good came out of it. Oh, it actually repaired. Uh, yeah, we can just hack this immediately. 
And we got a message. Decrypt. I don't even need the digital interpreter. System. System administrator. Face it. You're going to die. You're going to die and become a rot pile. The next ape is going to be bending over to search through your remains when my service bots shoot him in the back. Correction. They'll have shot all your service bots before you even start searching the rot pile. I know. I'm the one controlling the next ape. La 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 look at you, hacker. Do I have anything to cook? I'm fairly certain I don't. I'll keep this jumpsuit on, because it's about to break. I almost want to use the mutation serum. But I know that I'm going to be able to at least identify one of those. I'm probably going to try to ID the mutation serum first. Uh, sure, no. No, we're not using the laser pistol. Are you stupid? Damned thing. Yeah, I should have just charge them. Okay, on the bright side, they got right next to each other, meaning I can hit both of them at once. Which is the benefit of using the sword, is it's a really good crowd clearer. Crowd sweeper? Street sweeper? That'd be a good term for it. Yeah. Alright. I still don't have anything that really makes use of all the bindings I get in this game. Lockpicking is no longer being upgraded. No, I would like to not burn my jumpsuit this early. That went well. There's a reason for doing this. You see, I've got a fresh jumpsuit. I've got a fresh suit that's not going to take a ton of damage while fighting. So we're going to use our digital assistant. And we'll repair whatever we can the highest efficiency. Nothing else seems to be worth repairing at this moment. Perfect. You are not locked. You are unlocked. <clears throat> and that's a life drain trap. I still don't know if those things can kill you or not. That'd be really nice to know without actually dying on a run, mind you. <sighs> Needs a marine. Yeah, I know where you are. You're dying right now. Uh, I'll switch back to melee. Just for you, little bot. You hear that? You got the honor of being fought in melee. You got the honor of stunning me. And my eternal hatred as you keep stun locking me. dead yet. You're certainly irritating that I've missed you ten times in a row. We'll open the medical locker, see what we get. And another Tarkin field surgery kit. Well, don't... Don't mind if I do. I'll gladly take two. And we get a utility belt, which naturally, equip it, gives us more storage space to continue to store endless amounts of garbage in here. That went well. Too slow. Can I not get diseased? Can I have a disease threaten me every time? You know what? It, my life is my life total is low enough. Well, if I make one misstep, I die right now. Let's not leave it at that. Let's heal ourselves up, shall we? Where's the medkit? There it is. Floor 6 is probably the floor that we're going to leave this run off of. Leave this run on off. I can English, I swear. It's just my ability to speak has, has dwindled significantly. And I have no clue why. Much more helpful than that wasn't the case, but eh. So must survive. Oh, 
If I fight poison is much less irritating than disease, I'd rather fight poison and melee than disease and melee. The only reason I do it as much is because it's not dangerous enough to do so. So if it was a diseaseoid, I would probably run in fear. Was a diseaseoid even a thing? Oh, I never even spent my stat points. I'm the most brilliant man alive. Which is up here? A cooking station. And some Zolpops. Can I get some meat so I can actually cook something? No. I can make some aggressive antibi antibiotics. I will attempt to do so, as those are incredibly helpful if I screw up big time. Really, has every lab station been ruined? I, very would, I would really like to get one, and soon, before I start deciding to just test those things manually. <clears throat> yeah, we'll leave this out. Let's run off on floor 7 instead of 6, just because we're already so close. Don't question me, I honestly thought I would fail that. Should use the digital assistant. I did not. I did not get punished for it, though. Is that everything? Yeah, it's everything. Alright, let's head back north and fix our sword before we move on. I've got enough food to comfortably do this. One repair remaining. Yeah, we'll fix the sword. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that was Sword of the Stars The Pit, a new run, with me, Rainboy Tawante. When we come back, we will continue on Floor 7. Until then, so long.